Hello, this is Monica Rao, and you're going to see my paintings, jewelry, and silk scarves today in the showing Into the Light. The first piece I'd like to highlight is this piece called Love. And this has a story, really, because the piece really that I created was in the way that I most create, which is through just playing with color. Um, I play like a child. So when I started creating years and years ago, I was very exact because of the kind of art that I used to do before, which is more of the commercial art. I was trained in commercial art. And um, I, I had to, you know, I was uh, trained to paint in a very exact way. And over the years, as I kept moving along, uh, over the last maybe 20 years or so, it started moving more toward more of an abstract-ish bent, so more of an abstract expressionistic bent. And uh, when I paint, I don't really have any fixed idea in mind, and I just start playing and experimenting with paint and colors and textures. And so when I created this piece, really, um, it was created in this you know, vertical manner. And one day, after I'd finished creating it, I loved the colors and everything, but for some reason it made me flip it this way, in the way that you're seeing it most right now, in the most horizontal way. And if you can see it, I don't know if you can, but when I looked at it, my eyes just zoned into this. L, O, V, E. And that is so amazing to me, because you know, when I have that most amazing out of the body experience through my near death experience about 10 years ago. This is the universe, the whole universe. I was part of that entire universe in that out of the body state, being engulfed in that light. And the light that I saw was all of these beautiful colors melding into one. So this represents the universe, the whole entire universe, the cosmos, so to speak. And love is the essence of that. You know, love makes the world go round. We all know that, but actually I felt it in that state in 2010 um, and what I saw as my soul ejected the body and left and went on the other side and I literally went into the white light space you'll be amazed to see that through the white light these are the colors that I saw some of which even I don't believe I can even name them because these colors that I saw were a combination of so many different colors that you don't even see on this earth so this cosmic beings is really about the beings that I saw in the out of the body state that made me feel like I was one with the universe. So this is a very special piece that I really connect mostly to. So now we are talking about these two pieces. This is part of a series. Um, it is called, um, they're under the, under the ocean scenes. Um, each of these beautiful colors that you see um, in this shape, it almost looks like a, you know, uh, like, a, like, fish, like fish under the water. And um, I like it because it's very intuitive. And as an intuitive artist myself, um, it kind of works with me, but also just does its own thing, which I love about each piece. That's why each piece is so different. This wall has four pieces of alcohol inks that I've created. Um, again, my style of creation is very um, free flow. And each of these pieces appeared as landscapes. So these pieces are also uh, made with alcohol inks, just like the ones you saw right here. Uh, although these are abstract pieces and they are created on Yuko paper, which is like a synthetic um, non-porous surface and um, just playing with alcohol inks that creates these beautiful, vibrant uh, abstract art. These two pieces, they are created with liquid or fluid acrylics. So it's basically just regular paint that you, I dilute it with water to make it a consistency that it starts to drip. And then um, I pour it on, um, you know, on, this, on the surface, basically it could be anything. These are canvas pieces. And just the paint start flowing together. And then I use a tool such as a hairdryer to just move it along in whichever direction it wants to go. So it's a very intuitive way of working with paints. Um, I love it because it just does its own thing. It has a mind of its own. This piece is all about following your inner light, which is really the innermost essence of you that you have within you to look at life in general or to allow it to lead you into where you need to go. So this piece really is a combination of multiple overlay, underlay, 
under paintings, as you can see, has so many different textural effects. Um, it's got um, it's got different mediums in it, lots of um, textural elements that you can see, but also you can see that through it all, there's a sense of depth that brings you in, just like our life, our life is like that. There's so many layers and layers and layers and layers that create our whole life as a whole and through which we see our whole existence, so to speak. So the white, the, the bright colors that you see, the whiter parts of it is really your innermost essence of who you are. And you can see most of my paintings really come from finding your innermost self, your innermost soul. And um, hopefully that serves as a compass that leads you to where you need to go. Pure Bliss, this piece, Acrylics on Canvas, um, has so much going on. When you look at it at first glance, there's so much going on in this piece. Again, it's reminiscent of uh, our lives. A lot of my work you'll see is created through med med uh, meditation and intuition, and um, you know, really bringing forward what we see in our own lives in general. So many, many things are happening here, just like in life, too many things are happening in, all at once. But if you just follow, again, your inner, inner intuition and inner guidance, you'll be led to what matters the most. So here it is, the bright orange light that you see is really what matters the most. It's steering you in the right direction. And through it also, once the layers are simply being peeled away, all of the unwanted energies and not, not so good energies that we hold on to is peeled away, all you see is pure bliss. So this rack is all of the silk scarves that I've hand dyed in various styles. This one is a um, scarf that is dyed with um, wax. So it's a sustainable kind of wax, it's soy wax. It's not the traditional um, beeswax that we use. And this one is a, you can see these, um, each square or rectangle is different because they're created by um, using blocks, block prints, um, and also jelly, gel prints, gel prints and rock prints is how it's created. Uh, and this one, the third one that I want to highlight is just a matter of how it's been folded. So it, it, a lot of people would refer to this as tie-dye, although I call it more of a folding technique. It's originally done by the Japanese. I also have a selection of handmade, hand-designed jewelry. These are all created by um, different styles and different mediums, um, so mixed media. Uh, this is a handmade pendant, which looks like a galaxy. You can see different things here. So on March the 6th, I'll be teaching a class on how to design two silk scarves using three techniques. To register, please contact the center or go online to register.